The second-ranked SMU Mustangs came to Lubbock the next weekend and received national publicity for their win over the Raiders, not because of a rout, but because of how they escaped a tie with a miracle kickoff return. A hard-fought game. All-American Eric Dickerson met All-American Gabe Rivera for a four-yard loss. The offense looked well-oiled as Hart completed this 21-yard pass to Brian Williams. Stan David, who finished second in the Southwest Conference in interceptions, picks off this SMU pass and returns it 24 yards to set up a Tech touchdown. The TD was ensured by this Hart to Troy Smith pass down to the one, followed by Hart's keeper for the TD. Tech leads SMU 10-7. SMU comes back to lead at the half, however, 17 to 10. The Ponies this day would be the luckiest team in America, as even fumbles bounced right back into their hands. The Tech defense came to the front in the second half. Rivera gets a two-yard loss, Kinsey gets a four-yard loss, and Michael Baines gets a hit for no gain. Meanwhile, the offense was having its most productive day of the season chalking up 20 first downs and 421 total yards on the Southwest Conference champion. The fourth quarter of this game was one that college football thrives on. Two tight ends in the ball game. High backfield. Pitch back to Hutchinson. Breaks into the third. The 20, the 25, the 40, the 45, the 50, the 40. He may go all the way. He's to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He's in for the touchdown. SMU counters with a field goal, making it 27-24. As they had done so many times in the 82 season, the Raiders refused to give up. Here, Carl Carter bats down an SMU pass, and then the stage is set for another wild finish. With the Raiders driving 71 yards in the closing minutes of the game. Faced with a fourth and two at the SMU 11-yard line, the Raiders go for the tie. Harry Morin waiting the snap from center. He gets it. The ball is down. Gaines kick is up in the air. It appears to be good, and it is, and we have a tie ball game. The Raiders have tied the unbeaten, untied, number two ranked SMU Mustangs 27-27. Or have they? Blaine Smith is back around the goal line awaiting the kick. It's scribbed downfield by Ricky Gann. Blaine Smith picks it up, fumbles it at the 10. He can't find the handle. Now it's thrown off to the left side. It's caught there by an SMU Mustang. Brought back to the 20, the 30. He may go all the way. It's Bobby Leach for the ball. He has it to the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He goes all the way. This last second loss to SMU took a lot of the wind out of the tech sales.